Hello friends, Wanda here and today I'm going to bring you just a little uh, tutorial on how to add um, some animal print like tiger stripes, uh, zebra print to your rock um, and you'll have like this nice bumpy texture to it. It's really kind of satisfying to feel that. I love that. <laughs> Sometimes textures and bumps on rocks. Um, anyways, I did not create the technique. I believe it was Rachel from Rachel's Rocks Canada, and I will link her um, tutorial in the description for you to go watch uh, the way she does it on her um, phone grips, I believe. Um, anyways, I like to use this background um, for worry rocks. You know, you rub them they're, uh, for some, you know, stress relief or anxiety, so... This is my interpretation of the animal print technique. I'm going to be using nail art foil glue. I'm using Beetles brand today. And I'll be using UV light to activate it. So basically, you're just going to be going back and forth put this down here so we can see. Yeah, I'm going to turn on the flash so we get a better light here. Okay, so you're going to be, you just want to kind of start and then make your lines. Once you get a kind of a starting point, and they don't have to be any particular uh, shape. It's really, really, that's not the important part. So you just kind of make, um, you work in between and around. The um, mark that you already made. So you can probably see it uh, kind of starting to come together a bit. So, you know, you can just be creative with your uh, design, your pattern. It doesn't, there's no specific way to do this. And it's actually easier if you don't try to copy somebody's pattern um, because then it just becomes frustrating. So just start painting some squiggly lines. It's really, you know, not a, just don't even think about it. Just start striping them on there, you know. Just make sure you have some forks like this, you know, so that you can uh, get that um, separation, you know, like you want to put some, not dots, but some middle sections in there like that.
And I'm gonna put a little fork there. You can go ahead and cure if you're getting some drips. You can cure um, half of it. Just don't over cure it because then the chrome powder won't stick very well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this side for 60 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna work on this side now. So just keep adding until you're satisfied with your pattern. All right, I'm going to cure that side now. Okay, so I'm going to be using, this is some um, flakes, color shifting flakes from Pearl Pleasures on Etsy. Um, this is Intense Color F5, so I see F5 color shift flakes. And these are just amazing. I have some other really neat colors on the way, but you can see the, the red purple then blue shift it's crazy <laughs> they're gorgeous though so this is what I'm going to use on our animal today so I'm going to apply it with the brush end of this fancy brush I got with my other powders um Juanita I believe they are on Amazon Actually, let me see if I get going here. Yeah. So I'm basically just pushing the flakes into the animal print. And then you can, once you get the flakes on it, you can chrome it by rubbing the silicone tool like so onto each section and then I had it backwards you brush off the excess with the brush now these are uh, floaty little flakes so you want to be wearing a mask 
you don't need to be breathing this. I don't know if, you know, chrome flakes are dangerous, but certainly don't want it in your lungs or in your eyes. You know, maybe put on some goggles. So cool. So I'm going to do kind of a half C, half C here. I'm going to do that color there. So they also have, they have many, many colors, but this is another one that I have. It's a red, purple, blue also, but it's a, it shifts starting with the blue into red. Can you see that? Blue, purple, red, gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna use a bit of this. I'm just gonna use it from the lid here. And I'm gonna come right up next to this one. Kind of ombre it in. I'm gonna add some other colors in here too from the Winita. Leave that open in case I want to grab some more. Okay, I'm going to grab this color shift from Juanita. It's the crazy color shifting purple blue, which I don't know if you can see it on there, but so pretty. Oh my goodness. Out a little bit on this side. Very beautiful. And some in here. All right, grab another color. Aha, this is the gold, ah, the gold uh, holographic. Oh, I like this one. And the little goes a very long way, as you can see. Just, uh, wow, a very long way. It goes so far, you can just keep going forever and ever and ever with it. Just almost. <laughs> okay, so then we can buff that. Wow, lots of powder there. I'm going to get a soft brush and dust that out and then buff it you can see the holographic effect on that
Just blend it in there. Okay, I like that for that. Okay, and then this section over here. Let me use a different shift here. You just want to make sure you get the edges. And just add it where you feel the sticky. <laughs> kind of touch it up. Okay. And then take your soft brush. And then you want to do a clean gloved finger and buff it, buff it in nice and make it nice and soft and you don't feel any stickiness left. Just keep buffing. And then dust off the last bits out of the black. Isn't that pretty? You have all different colors. You don't have to do it all different colors. You can just do it one solid color. So when you are done with that, you should seal it. Okay, when you're done, you should seal it with either a UV top coat or a UV resin. Today I'm going to use Top Coat, and this one is also by Beatles. Sometimes I prefer Top Coat on the smaller rocks. It's faster cure. It's like between 30 and 60 seconds in the UV light, and it's cured. And it's super glossy. <laughs> Okay, and then cure that. Okay, once that's done curing, you can investigate your work, <laughs> or inspect it, I mean. Um, so the idea for this rock, for me, um, obviously is just beautiful by itself. This is on the back side of that dragon scale that I made, um, I don't know, a couple months back, and that's very like sandpapery feeling so it's um kind of stimulating as well and then this side now has some smooth but definitely um it's bumpy so it's a really neat feeling thing too so these rocks are good for like autism anxiety reducing um, stress relief so if you're just having a day pickup one and just you know, it, let your mind flow with it. It's really, really, really soothing, actually. So you can make a worry rock or a worry stone. And then look at all the pretty colors. And they just change the more you move it. Okay. 
Very pretty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you liked what you saw here, consider hitting subscribe, would you? And then come visit us over at Creative Rock and Art. I'm sorry, <laughs> Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques on Facebook. I'll see you again real soon. Hi, friends. Okay, you just thought I was done, didn't you? <laughs> this is a little bitty rock. And I wanted to add this to this tutorial because it's definitely um, a cool thing to um, play around with. Anyways, it's the Solar SolarColorDust.com company liquid crystal and it's in a brushable pen. Oh my gosh, right? So it says exactly what you think it is. Yep, it's one of those mood, it's like a mood paint. And I'm sure you've seen it before around. So, anyways, how I did this. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> so how I did it was I clicked the brush. It takes a lot to get it started. But once you get it started, I clicked it until a bunch came out the end. And then I rolled it off onto a piece of... This is just the back of a sticker of a big label I had, like that, okay? And then I took a liner brush. Sorry, hold on just a minute. <laughs> I took the liner brush and just picked up a little bit at a time. These are little bitty rocks. These are like pocket worry rocks. So I just started putting some of this on my rock. Basically just like I did the other one, but smaller. And then we're going to do something, we're going to add a top coat, but in two separate applications. Okay, so I'm only going to do half of this so you can see. Now you can apply it any way you want to, right? So if you wanted to just paint the whole surface, I do know that painting the whole surface, it comes out kind of splotchy a bit. It's kind of hard to get it on uh, even evenly in one even coat. So that's just half of the rock, okay? And then it takes a while to dry, so about an hour is what it took this to dry. <sighs> so cool. Okay, so quit playing with it. <laughs> I have set aside some top coat, uh, UV top coat. Sorry, I gotta get the gloves on. And uh, a clean eyeliner brush. And to get the bumps in my rock, because I'm using it for like a worry rock, a worry stone, to get the bumps in there. I'm going to apply this to the top of, of the mood changing paint that I applied. I'm not doing a thick thick coat, just enough to give it ridges because you don't want it so thick that you won't be able to make it change colors. We're going to do two coats of this. We're going to do this layer here. 
So if you miss a spot, it's totally okay because we're going to be covering the whole rock. Okay, then give that a cure. I'm just going to hit that with my little light here. For about 20. Oh, see the change? Did you see it change colors? Watch this. Oh, so cool. It changes colors because when it cures, it gets hot. See how it got darker? You know, you could even paint matte in between that matte top coat if you wanted the two-tone look like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and use a thin coat. I'm going to take a, pull some of this back off. really thin coat okay and then cure that And we're good and that beautiful so now you have a pocket worry stone just a little bitty one that you can keep in your pocket and rub and you can feel the ridges in it and then on this side it's nice and smooth and a lot of people like that and this particular rock has a little dip in it so it's actually really, really nice to hang on to anyways just another idea sorry I bested in when you thought it was done <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit of top coat to this side, and then I'll post it for you guys to see. Anyways, thank you again for hanging out. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon.